Allison. I'm Ella. We're with the Winkle, and today we're making bucket, a bucket tower. tower. Ella, what's the tallest tower you've ever built? Out of blocks, I've made it like this tall. Okay, have you ever tried to make a tower out of straws before? Yes. Yes? Was it really strong the and tall? The animal tower. Yes. We did. We did a Winkle challenge where you had to build a tower as tall as you could and yeah. balance an animal on the top. Today, we're not going to be balancing. We're going to be testing the strength of our tower, Ooh. how strong it is, and it's going to hold a bucket of money. Really cool, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see what's in our kit. Okay, some straws, a paper cup, some tape, and some string. Okay, on top of everything in your kit, you'll need a pointy pencil because we're going to be poking a hole in your cup, and you'll need some scissors to cut the excess string. If you have a jar of coins at home or anything else that's heavy, you will need that to test the strength of your tower. Mm -hmm. Once you have those things, let's get started. Woohoo! Ella, the thing I love about this bucket tower challenge is everybody is going to have the same resources, the straws and the tape and the cup and the string, and the same instructions that we're going to give them, but everybody's is going to turn out different. And that's what makes it so fun, is everyone can be unique and you can try your own thing. Ooh. And if you build a tower that's not strong enough or you want it to be taller or stronger in any way, you can always redo it and add more things. Cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start by taping my straws to the table. See, if you tape it on both sides, they can stick straight up. Now, like I said, you guys don't have to do it my way. You can do it your own way. In fact, I encourage you to do it your own way because that will make it really special. All we're doing is building a tower of some sort that can hold a bucket. Full of, of money. Uh, full of money, full of coins, right? We want it to be really strong so that we can fill this whole bucket up without our tower falling over. Now my tower is going to be kind of like pentagon shaped. Do you know what pentagon means? Uh-huh. What? Pentagon is a shape. It is a shape. Do you know how many sides it has? It has eight. No, that's an octagon. Pentagon right. is five sides. As we get going on this Winkle video, you can always pause the video if you need to catch up to us. If you didn't understand something we said, you can always rewind the video and then press play. So I have one, two, three, four, five. These are gonna be my tall standing beams. But see how they're kind of flimsy and wobbly like this? Yeah. It could be okay, but I don't want them flopping around while I'm trying to have it hold a bucket of money. <laughs> so I'm actually going to put supporting beams between them. So these are like cross beams. So I'm just going to go like this and kind of measure with my fingers and cut. And I'm going to tape a cross beam to all of these so I can make them nice and strong. So is yours going to be triangular shaped? Three sides? Well, no. What is it going to be? This one going to be right here, so it's okay. going like that. Okay, nice. You want to make sure those contact points where the straw meets up with the other straw are nice and secure too. If you don't use enough tape, then they are probably gonna fall apart. All I'm doing to connect these pieces together is just putting the straw there and then the tape, I put around the tall straw and then I fold it in half. Okay, this side, the same thing. Just kind of fold that tape in half. If you feel like it doesn't have enough support, go underneath it and put some more tape in there. If you want to add another layer on top of this one so it's a little bit taller, I'll show you a trick. You take a straw and cut a little piece into the straw, maybe a half an inch or three quarter inch long. You can kind of tuck that straw into itself like this and then put it in the other straw. And then just to make sure it's secure, we're going to wrap that contact point with tape. What do you think of attaching your straws that way? Pretty smart, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, so I have my second layer up here. It's kind of like the upstairs layer. I'm going to put another cross beam, I think, because that's going to make it so much stronger. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think all of these need a cross beam. I'm just going to do one tower. One level? Yeah. That's totally fine. architecture has supporting structures within it. So usually we just see like a house or a building and we think of the walls that are on the outside, but it always has things on the inside that are supporting it to allow it to be standing up so strong and to carry so much weight. So our towers are built and now we're gonna make a little platform for our buckets to be suspended from something at the top. So I'm going to build right here Right now, right here. Right here. Right now. now, I would love to see what you guys come up with with this project because I expect it to be very different than the project that Ella and I did, right? Mm hmm. It's gonna be even better, probably. You have plenty of straws and plenty of tape, so if you make a mistake, you can always try again. It's no big deal. All right, do you think that's strong enough to hold our bucket? Ooh, looks like those straws are gonna collapse. I'm gonna do a few more straws up there just to make it extra secure. I'm gonna make more, I'm gonna do more tape. Oh, more tape? That's a good yeah. idea. I'm gonna put some extra tape on the underneath side because if you think about that bucket, gravity and the weight of it is gonna try and bring it down, right? Yeah. So just try and think of everything that you're doing to strengthen that right there. Wow, these look really cool. They look awesome. Yeah, they do. You know what? You could even support it down at the bottom with some support structures down there. Are you testing it? Yeah. This needs more tape and another straw. Okay, good. tower finished we're going to take our cup and our pencil and you can choose how you want to hang your cup so you can hang it um, from two holes or from four holes or whatever you think is going to be the most secure for your tower so in my design I designed that I'm going to have two holes and then I'm going to attach the cup to both of these beams both of these straws right here to poke the hole in your cup Try not to poke your fingers. Okay, so hopefully you poked your hole big enough that you can feed your string through there. If not, you can always take your pencil and help poke your string through the hole. Sometimes you have to give your, your string a little trim because see all those tiny threads that make yeah. up the string? They're all frayed like that. And if you give it a trim, then they'll all kind of come back together. Okay, we're gonna tie it to both sides. Okay, I'm gonna tie mine around this one with a knot. So if you don't know how to do this, watch here. I'm gonna make like a loop like this and tuck the end of my string up through the loop. All right, and I'm gonna tie it on the other side again. I'll show you how. You're gonna tie it around the straw, make a loop, and you wanna balance the cup so that it's even. You don't want it to be tipping over like that because all your money will fall out. You're making a loop with the string and putting the tail of the string through the loop. Tie it and try and keep the bucket even. And then we're gonna do that again. You're gonna make a loop and tie the string through the loop tail goes through the loop, pull it tight. Okay, I'm just gonna trim the excess string on each side, and there we go. Okay, this is the exciting part, Ella. Our towers are built, our bucket is suspended there, just waiting to see how much weight it can carry. <laughs> okay, so how much weight do you think your bucket can carry? Could it carry? Start with 
some pennies. Okay, I'm starting with a dollar of quarters. Oh. Can we dump it out? Yeah. We have a lot of change at our house. That's Remember, good. if you don't have change at your house, you can always use any kind of weight that you have. everybody at home did. If you have a grown up take a picture or video of you making your bucket tower, have them post it to Instagram or Facebook and tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see what you made and how it turned out. Ooh. Did you like this Winkle video? If so, please like and subscribe. That way every time we come out with new STEM videos, you'll be the first to know. Also check out down below for freebies and thewinkle.com. Ella, thanks so much for joining me today. This was so much fun. I'm so proud of you. You're like a, an engineer. <laughs> thanks for joining me. Thanks, everybody. Bye.